Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Lynn, for that follow-up. Um, we are going to move on to the awards portion of our breakfast, and this is where we get to honor some amazing members of our community. Um, I want to take a moment to thank Trish for um, handling all the logistics of this nomination process. It's not as simple as it, as it appears when we show up this morning, um, but we had fantastic submissions, and next year you should all submit those people that you um, want to honor here this morning. But one of the um, cornerstones of these four awards is that people show up and they get involved in things. And I want to take just one second to honor some folks that we have lost this year. Um, in particular, Mike Hoffman was an amazing community member. Um, for those of you who did not know Michael, uh, he passed away within the last month or so. Um, and he was the owner and um, worked at Liberty Bell Printing in the Junction for many years. Um, and the reason that he comes to mind this morning is because um, last year he showed up with a banner that honored one of our award recipients, um, Ventana Construction, and put it on their building for them so that they just showed up and had this amazing banner. And it is the epitome of what Michael Hoffman was about and how he dedicated himself to um, so many things in West Seattle. So I just wanted to take a second to honor Michael and his legacy and then to also mention some other leaders that we've lost in West Seattle, Warren Lawless and Leonard Van and Joan Mraz. So just a, the, they are people that had that kept West Seattle ticking for many years. So I just wanted to mention them as we move into honoring all of our award recipients. I'm going to turn the microphone over to Hamilton Gardner, um, the Vice Chair of the Board of Directors, to introduce our first recipient. It's my pleasure to introduce the West Side Business of the Year. General Biodiesel's mission to help community businesses with free pickup of used greases and provide alternative fuel sources. Biodiesel is a fuel that can be used as an alternative for petroleum. Yale and Laura Wong launched General Biodiesel in 2006 to help reduce the nation's reliance on foreign fuel. Reducing our carbon footprint, they created a fuel source from discarded cooking oils. Their high quality product is used by vehicles in the city with great success. General Biodiesel engages the latest automation and efficiency using green technology, uh, generating 10 million gallons of biodiesel per year. With the diversity in ownership and staffing, General Biodiesel is a cutting edge company, environmentally aggressive in recycling and addressing the carbon footprint issue that we have in our city today. And please join me in congratulating General Biodiesel. West Seattle Chamber. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Councilman Joe. I, I went to uh, junior high school with Joe. Joe. <laughs> um, but I, I'm really honored because there, there's a lot of great business here in West Seattle. I, I live here in West Seattle. My daughter goes to school at Lady Guadalupe. This is probably the best place to live and by far has the best skyline view of all, most of all the cities. But um, I, 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 when I found out that we won, I, I looked at my wife and I saw. I said, I think this feels better than winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to tell you how we got started. <laughs> <laughs> I just, woo, we, this is the last I won. <laughs> we won. My, my boys over there. But um, I want to let you know how I got I started. Um, I, I sold a, I sold a dot com in 2004. And I literally didn't know what to do. I was actually depressed. I said, what am I going to do? All I know in all my whole life is to, to, to work the internet. And my wife was getting really tired of me being around the house. She goes, you got to get back to work. <laughs> and the first thing I did was I called up my good friend Clarence that, went to, uh, that grew up with me. And he's, we literally, in the kitchen table, drew the plans on a napkin and, and, and you know, started this company. And today, I'm really proud from 2006. 
that we collect from more than two, 3,000 restaurants in the state of Washington, we're going to or Oregon, Idaho, all the way to Vancouver, BC, and we've reduced probably more than 100 million, million pounds of carbon taken out of Washington State from restaurants. <laughs> This company would not be possible for these guys over here. I, I don't want to take them credit. I, I get credit for choosing these guys. But these guys <laughs> made the company and their passion drove this business. And you know, today, you know, I get I, I'm very proud when I ride the state ferries, this is my field went into the to, 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 to the state ferries. And I'm proud of that. And I'm I'm working on the metro buses. And I'm hoping with the rest of you guys it goes in the West Seattle Ferry right here that we need to do. But thank you very much. Truly, truly honored. Thank you. Thank you. It's my honor to get to introduce um, and uh, present the award for the West Side Emerging Business of the Year. And this is a new business, and it is to honor um, the spirit that goes behind launching something new. And I was talking to Mark this morning, and um, he actually had this idea and launched it in 90 days. If that's not an emerging business, then nothing is. So that is pretty fantastic. So Mark is with Second Gear Sports, and they are located in the Morgan Junction. And this was an idea that came from straight from his heart. He um, is an avid... Um, environmental enthusiast, he likes to be outside, and a family man. And within his family, they really honor the idea of being out and being active. And he decided that there was a gap in West Seattle for being able to um, recycle all of your kids' sporting goods and for us to be able to go buy new soccer balls and things at a, at a cost that um, isn't outrageous. So he is an innovative businessman. He was smart enough to set himself up with a mentor very early in the process who is here to help honor him this morning. And within Second Gear Sports, you are going to find amazing, um, amazingly friendly and helpful customer service. The award nomination submissions for Mark and his business at Second Gear Sports were some of the nicest quotes I've ever heard um, said about a new business owner. So I want to honor you for that and to welcome you to the West Seattle community and to offer our encouragement. I want all of you to go there um, in the next 90 days. Why don't you say that? That would work. Um, Mark Bremen, may I introduce you? And come on up. We'd like to talk to you. So if I didn't uh, cut my notes with me, she'd probably kill me. Uh, so I've been a resident of West Hill for the uh, past 10 years and really love the community. Um, so opening this store was uh, part, uh, you know, part out of necessity, but also um, just the result of my being laid off from the medical industry twice in five years. Uh, back in 2008, for those of you that don't know, uh, I was at the time unemployed, you know, due to the Great Recession, I was trying to figure out what does West Seattle need that we lack. Um, I live in Gatewood, my kids go to Gatewood Elementary, and I thought if I could figure out something, reduce my commute, reduce my impact, you know, on the environment, driving out to Issaquah and Bothell, where I previously worked, uh, you know, that would really help. Um, you know, and I've also been very loyal to local businesses, but after you know, driving around West Seattle in 2008, I felt like we had everything that we need and I could not come up with a, a business concept at the time. So, went back to work 2009, fast forward to 2010, found myself laid off again due to uh, various uh, changes in the medical industry. Uh, so again, went back, tried to figure out, you know, what does West Seattle need, there's something I'm missing here. And my wife was actually out running, training for a half marathon with a friend of hers when her friend indicated that her son was out growing the soccer plates about every six months and she had nowhere to take them. It wasn't worthwhile to put them on Craigslist. And that's when it dawned on us we needed a sporting goods consignment store. So 
we decided to take a risk. I started, you know, running the numbers, and you know, in 90 days we went from concept to execution. You know, opened our doors a little later than we planned. Opened them in September, so we're now going on seven months. Um, but it's been great. We've been fortunate enough to be embraced by the West Seattle community, especially businesses such as Firefly Cafe, West Seattle Runner, uh, and West Seattle Cyclery, and have partnered with them to do a lot of cross referrals and cross promotions. Uh, so to this date, we're honored to have nearly 400 consigners trust us with their gear. We've got, uh, I think we're closing in on about 4,000 different items that have come through our store in that short period of time, and honored to have positive feedback every day uh, as to the benefit that we're providing to the community. And we're just very honored to have validation through this award, and I thank you all very much in the chamber. It's my pleasure to introduce the Westside Not-for-Profit of the Year. And I believe this group needs no introduction. Since 1981, the West Seattle Food Bank has been committed to providing food security and community connections to our West Seattle neighbors in need. Last year, they served 37,000 families through the food bank and 3,400 children through their baby pantry. They have spectacular community outreach and a passionate staff. Join me in congratulating the West Seattle Food Bank. West Seattle, there are a lot of really tremendous nonprofits, so we are all very, very honored to get this award. Um, and I want to say that, you know, often in my work, people come up to me and thank me for, you know, what we do as a nonprofit. But I have to say that being part of this business community in which so many people are working together to make this a great, thriving community really makes a tremendous difference. So this West Seattle Chamber really rocks. <laughs> so, um, we've been a member for a long, long time, but I haven't had the opportunity to participate as actively as I have in the last couple of years. And, um, and so I, I have to say it's been a joy working with the many folks in this chamber. Um, so, on behalf of our great board of directors, our tremendous hard work and dedicated staff, the volunteers, and the thousands of individuals that we will serve, including those 3,500 children that would be going hungry if it weren't for this community, thank you all very, very much. recipient today. Um, it, it, the honor goes to the West Sider of the Year, and I have an assistant who's going to join me in um, giving this award. Guthrie, can you join me? <laughs> so standing beside me is Guthrie Sutton, and he's going to help me talk about his dad just a little bit this morning. Um, so I'm going to start, and then I'm going to turn it over to you, okay? So this morning we get to honor Josh Sutton as our West Sider of the Year. He is the director of the West Seattle YMCA, and he has been working with the YMCA for 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. He's old. <laughs> One of the things that you have to recognize is Josh is a funny guy. He's also kind of a loud guy. So we get quotes from people that just talked about when Josh walks into the room, you know he's there because you can hear him and his huge laughter and amazing presence. So I think that's because he's one of 12. Is that right? Because there's a lot of you Suttons here today. So thank you. Um, but behind all of that humor is um, an incredibly smart and kind 
and committed individual who has done things for West Seattle that you will never know about because he does a lot of those things behind the scenes. He puts time in for things like um, neighborhood development and triangle planning. Um, he puts his neck out there and has opinions on things that um, sometimes push buttons, but he does it in a way that is compassionate and is factual, factually based. Um, but he's there, and he is a part of what we're doing. Um, and he is born and raised in West Seattle, which not many people in this room, I bet, can say that. So that alone should make you a West Sider up here. <laughs> but I think probably um, Guthrie is going to be able to give us a little bit more insight on why Josh Sutton should be honored as our West Sider up here. And I told him just to you know, take a couple sentences and not to embarrass his dad too much. Um, you can hold it a little bit closer. When I hear my dad, whenever I'm going to my bed, our house is about three stories high. As he said, you can hear his laughter from a while away. He's down <laughs> watching TV with the TV on, and I can hear him up from my bedroom, and I'm in a bunk bed. <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> whenever he laughs at the show. <laughs> and he's just there whenever I need him, really. He's always there to help. Susan, she, she, uh, she, there's been no ration of uh, razzing around the Sutton house since we heard about this, and I just heard the, oh yeah, the sash. <laughs> She keeps me grounded. Um, I want to thank uh, Dave Montour for nominating me. It was very nice for you to do that. And for the Chamber of Commerce, there's so many people who are deserving in West Seattle who do, do great community work every day. Um, there's a few folks here I'd like to recognize. I, about half of my siblings are here today. Um, so we filled one table. So Chamber of the Messages, you should always invite somebody who has a lot of brothers and sisters. Um, my, my dad is here too. My 90 and a half year old dad is here. my mom last November, um, but my mom and dad modeled for all of us what it means to give back, what it means to stand up for people who don't have a voice, and what it means to take responsibility in the community. And I'm just so glad you could be here. Um, my boss, Sue, is here, um, and, and Sue's actually the former West Seattle Y exec, and she's our chief operating officer at the YMCA, and, what, and she's also the past chair of this chamber board. Um, Sue challenges me every day to make sure I'm doing great work in the community, and I, and I love that because it's an exciting job to have. Um, we've got a number of Rotarians in the room. I am a member of the Rotary Club of West Seattle. We have a lot of fun as a group, but we also are really engaged in service in the community, and it's, it's a great group to be with. And then I have a number of board members and YMCA staff who are here today, and there's are people that I get to work alongside with every day. And, uh, and they really know that, that great communities have strong whys, and we certainly do here in West Seattle. Um, my wife Susan is here today, and I can tell you we've been married 20 years. Uh, she'll say it feels like 40. And uh, that's 20 years straight, though. Um, and I, I can also tell you the truth. She's a teacher here at Guadalupe, and uh, she's been the uh, love, love of my life for a long time, and everything is possible because of her. Um, and lastly, you met my son Guthrie, and um, <laughs> yeah, I guess we know where he gets that from. Um, <laughs> when I became a dad, I, I didn't realize it. Uh, I'd worked with kids for a long time in the Y, and I'd worked in the community for a long time. Um, but Guthrie is my motivation, 
Every kid in West Seattle deserves to grow up safe and strong and secure. They deserve opportunities and they deserve great education. And I think everybody in this room helps make that great community that makes that possible. So thank you very much.